Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple ancient tool, flyel. It is a old tool. We will design here each and every part, handle, chain and this flyel ball. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. Here let's make the first part of flyel weapon handle. Choose front plane, sketch, select line and start from origin and draw a horizontal line and convert this horizontal line into a quarter curves then little straight slot then again draw a one more straight slot go little up then convert this into arc exit select this arc center point and this line and make relation coincide ok now let's define the dimension twenty two point five mm fifteen mm forty mm one point five mm eighteen mm the radius okay now choose here three point arc start from here to this point and draw a half circle exit now let's make this radius five mm okay now choose linear pattern select this line as a axis and here select this reverse direction and we want up to 10 numbers ok choose a smart dimension edit undo the process and try one more time select here this circle only now, now try make reverse 10 numbers only ok choose the smart dimension and define the distance from the last midpoint to this point three hundred and fifty mm ok now drag this point smart dimension and define the gap between these two points ninety eight mm ok choose trim entity and trim this 
line you can define it by a construction line now let's this is the our drawing it's now let's try to revolve select bottom line as a select this clear and here select the bottom line as a axis okay now this is the handle body go to appearance find out wood polished birch okay choose fillet 2 mm and select this sharp edges okay now again choose fillet keep 2 mm and select this face okay now here we want to make some cutouts so let's see and we will see how to do it choose right plane sketch normal okay select center line draw a one center line from one end to another end of circle exit now here select define this length 4 mm now choose corner rectangle and draw a corner rectangle it must parallel to this point okay choose mirror now this four line selected just select the center line okay now this line also mirrored now even you can define anything here okay select this line and this point and make relation horizontal now the geometry is fully defined simply select extruded cut 40 mm depth inside reverse direction okay that's it select this face sketch normal and let's cut a circle here find out the okay now keep the diameter 16 mm okay and select extruded cut keep here through all okay choose fillet keep 3 mm and select this inside face okay again choose fillet 4 mm select this edge opposite edge this corner choose okay now that's it this is the handle but we will change this color select select this all faces
go to appearance go to metal and uh, i prefer polished brass now see now this is the handle for flail weapon so just save this handle save part 1 go to desktop create a folder flail weapon this is the handle save now let's make the next part chain now here let's make the chain we will make the one unit of chain then later we will assemble it choose front plane sketch select here center rectangle and draw a rectangle from origin point keep the length 36 mm and height 24 mm okay choose offset entity keep 7 mm and select the circle choose here reverse direction okay so now the gap between this 7 mm okay choose corner sketch fillet select corner radius 11.4 mm and select this four outer outer edges okay now change 4.5 mm and select this inside circle edges okay now this is the shape of change select extruded boss extrude 7 mm keep here mid plane okay choose fillet select 3 mm select this face and select back side face okay now this is the one unit of chain go to metal and uh, i prefer nickel polished nickel see now let's save this part number 2 chain let's make the next part now here we will make the last part flail ball or the weapon choose front plane sketch select circle and draw a circle choose a line and divide it into half exit choose trim entity and delete half line trim half line now just define the radius keep radius 60 mm okay now choose revolve boss base select bottom line as a axis okay now here we created a sphere choose front plane a sketch select construction line center line draw a horizontal and vertical lines again draw one line exit now let's define this gap 45 degree okay select circle draw here a big circle select for construction geometry and define the diameter 140 mm okay choose line and start from this point up to this circle up to this line we want to close it actually okay make it 17 mm Forty mm. Okay. Now make one relation. Select these two lines. 
tangent okay now this relation created and this line also created choose here revol revolve boss base and select this vertical line as a axis okay now you can see we created one sharp edge in weapon now we will try to make three numbers choose circular pattern select this revolve item and in axis choose this x we want three numbers keep 360 degree equal spacing and select the previous sketch sketch 2 here in axis okay now see we created three numbers choose right plane mirror and here select first part and cir circular part okay now see three more parts now again choose front plane sketch normal select center line and draw a vertical center line exit choose line draw a line up to this point and draw a triangle exit select this line make relation horizontal now let's define 17 mm and the length 40 mm okay choose revolve boss base okay now see here one plane created now choose right plane sketch normal select center line start from this point to origin point and this point exit exit make sure this line perpendicular to this line let's define the dimension 40 mm 17 mm and make this angle 60 degree select here revolve boss base select this line as a axis okay now see this face also created now the only one place balance again choose right plane sketch normal select center line and select this corner point up to origin up to here select this point up to this sphere make sure this line perpendicular to this line okay it's already perpendicular let's define 40 mm the length and 17 mm now let's define this angle also keep angle 60 degree now the geometry is fully defined feature revolve boss base select this line as a axis okay now see the all edges are created so this is the weapon now we want to make a flyel we called flyel this weapon uh, now we called we will fix one hook here now we will create the hook for lifting choose front plane sketch first draw a center line okay now choose here corner rectangle okay now let's define this make it 28 mm 
and length let's say 35 mm okay now select here circle 15 mm okay select both the ends okay now we will do one thing select this two outer line and center line make relation symmetric okay now this geometry is fully symmetric now define this gap Fifteen mm. Okay. Now this geometry is fully defined. Select extruded boss. Keep here mid plane. And eight mm. Okay. Now see. Choose fillet. Keep four mm. Select this edge. and opposite edge okay again choose fillet 2.5 select this inside face okay fillet key 5 mm select this bottom edge and select this body directly and see the all edges will be select all end edges okay i think the previous delete we will try again one more time with 4 mm see the all edges defined so now this is your weapon flyel now let's define the material go to appearance metal and uh, nickel polished nickel see the whole body we selected as a polished nickel see this is beautiful color there are many material is up to you which material you like to apply now save this part Uh, find out your folder flyel weapon this is the third part flyel now let's start the assembly now here let's make the assembly of chain sub assembly we will do choose assembly okay select browse and choose chain open now press control key select this part and drag and drop one more part right click on this part choose float select here origin view choose mat select system assembly and origin origin of chain okay now hide it rotate this part now we will make some relation between these two parts select front plane of this plane uh, this chain chain 2 press control key and top plane top plane choose mat now see here is going to in same line okay select this mid plane of uh, top plane of chain 1 press control key and this is also the front plane of chain 2 assembly okay 
now we will select this face and this face it's coincide okay now the one link is created see so just now we will try to make a long chain with the help of pattern command choose here linear pattern select here both the component and select any horizontal line see is going this way keep distance 44 mm this is also sufficient we want five number of chain okay now this is the your chain see it looks a real view we we added the nickel polished material now let's save this assembly chain assembly save now let's do the final assembly let's start the final assembly of flyel weapon assembly this is the assembly window browse the parts first we will browse handle okay uh, i will prefer plain white let's insert the another part chain assembly and uh, flyel ball open this is chain and this is the ball now we will define some relation okay first we will fix the chain here rotate the chain okay select this rod handle select front plane of this and uh, assembly top plane of chain make sure front plane of handle and top plane of chain met see this comes in one line okay now here let's make one more relation select this inside face and select this side face now here it shows concentric relation select okay now see the chain will rotate along with this hole now it's time to add this part this flyel so choose now select the assembly of chain front plane of chain assembly and press control key and front plane of flyel see make relation coincident okay okay now again we want to make one more relation choose top plane of chain assembly press control key and right plane of flyel or this ball make relation coincident okay now here one important relation is balance select this chain this face and this face make relation tangent okay okay 
now this is the assembly of now see it is rotating this is the flyal weapon assembly see it will rotate along with chain so this is very useful and very uh, hard tool it is in ancient ages they are using this tool as a weapon still you can see this weapon in many museums and many places now let's save this assembly save as a final assembly save i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works don't forget to share our share and like our videos thanks for watching